Hundreds of homes in the northwest of England are without electricity after Storm Ellen brought huge winds to large parts of the UK. Some rail services have also been disrupted after fallen trees blocked lines and tracks were flooded. More wind and rain is expected today as Storm Fergus takes over from Storm Ellen. Hello again. The weekend started off on quite a wet and a windy footing thanks to Storm Ellen. It uh, did bring some heavy rain. We have uh, still a number of flood warnings in force. A bit of localised flooding here on this picture in Lancashire. Now, the strongest winds from Ellen came through during Saturday evening, just to the south of the centre of the low pressure. The strongest winds recorded at Capel Curry in northwest Wales, 80 mile an hour gusts here. Not far behind that, the Western Cumbria's coastline got hit with a gust of 74 miles an hour at St Bees Head. Uh, Simon, it's, uh, well, it was blustery, to put it mildly, last night. It was indeed, yeah, very wet and windy. You said earlier on in the news belt there about Storm Ellen, and you can just see on the image yesterday that swirl of cloud affecting Northern Ireland into northern parts of England. That's where we had the strongest of the winds yesterday. In fact, across uh, the north of Wales, gusts up to 80 miles an hour in Capelkirig, but quite widely those gusts of 50 to 70 miles an hour. That's why we saw some uh, issues with some trees down, some power cuts this morning as well. But today it should be a little bit quieter. Certainly this morning we've got some dry weather. There will be more rain, though, moving its way in from the southwest. So this is how it's looking. That's Storm Ellen. That's moving away. Now, this one here, this is Storm Fergus. It's not going to affect the UK, really. It's mainly across the Republic of Ireland that will see the biggest impacts, but it will turn windy later on this afternoon. Simon, that is a beautiful scene behind you from Bell Royal in Jersey. It's lovely. Absolutely. What's the phrase? Red sky in the morning? Shepherd's warning. Uh, well see, I could be a weather forecaster, <laughs> couldn't <laughs> I? Go. That's all I needed. <laughs> That's all I needed. Uh, because, yes, in Jersey, we are going to see some rain moving its way in through today. It's been real wet and windy and blustery uh, around us here in Salford and Greater Manchester. I only got caught in it yesterday. Um, but it looks like things eventually could start to settle once we've got past the couple of storms that we're working through. I'm not doing the forecast, but Simon, <laughs> yeah, Simon I think is. you're stealing someone's thunder here, Simon. Are you stealing the thunder. I like what you did. Carry on, Ben. Just carry on. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of more lines. That's it. <laughs> That's all he's got. So That's it is. Yep. over to you now, Simon, with the professional forecast. Well, yesterday we had, we, had, we had Storm Ellen yesterday, and that brought some very strong winds towards northern parts of the UK. But this morning, it's a fairly quiet start. Ellen has cleared away, and we've had a beautiful sunrise in Sheffield this morning. Many of us actually saw a fairly decent sunrise, but we have got some rain moving its way in, so red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning, and some of that rain has already started to move its way into uh, northwestern areas of England. It'll continue to push its way north and eastward through today, so you may need to plan uh, your plans today to avoid the rain. And then for the rest of the week, where well, we lose that area of low pressure, one or two weather fronts pushing into the north. Otherwise, though, high pressure starts to build in, and that's going to make things a bit more settled for the end of next week. Simon, thank you for that very professional forecast. <laughs> thank you for any time. Was that a dig? Was that a dig at me? <laughs> you should do a job share. I feel bad because it, it was a spoiler, wasn't it? I gave away the end of your, uh, yeah, your, your you forecast. Did. Anyway, Simon, thank you. you. We'll see you later. Thank you.